Good morning, everyone. This is Lisa Espinosa. I am the author of the new book, Answering Your Inner Calling. And I've been sharing the short little video teachings leading up to my new 10 week course. And today we're gonna, I'm going to share with you one of the exercises in my book. And this is from practice one. I explained last week what practice one was about, which is all about committing to your soul, saying yes to your soul. And as I shared, I think if you are guided to watch this video, you are already someone that has a relationship with your soul. And what this practice is about is just taking it to the next level, having an ongoing and consistent relationship every day, not just when you're away at retreat or in this awesome workshop or, or even not just when you're meditating, but for you to have an ongoing relationship with your soul throughout the day. And one of the exercises that I talk about is called the interrupter rituals, daily interrupter rituals. And what these rituals are about, they're about interrupting your day, but not interrupting in the sense of annoyance. But, you know, we tend to often sleepwalk through our day where we're just kind of doing, 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 crossing things off our list. And it's easy to forget that our soul is with us, that our soul can provide us guidance, that our soul can help us just have a much more creative day, a much more light-filled day, and can lead us to that next evolution of our life's work. Because the truth is that your soul is going to lead you step by step by step. And some of those steps are little steps. And that is, for some reason, that is one of the hardest things for us to learn is we're expecting this big announcement, you know, this big step. But those big steps will come, but they will not come if you don't do the little steps. And one of the things I learned is that it's absolutely essential for you to have some type of process every day, multiple times a day, where you connect with your soul. So I wanted to share some of the things I do. And one of them is simple, is what I've been doing in every video. If you come to my classes, if you're coming to the retreat this Friday, you will see me doing this. We will do it together. But it's what I do, you know, just bringing your hands to your heart. You know, just that simple movement with intention can just kind of interrupt the pull that our ego has, that our parts have, you know, that just kind of keep us in managerial mode. So what you could do is you could commit, for example, that three times a day you're going to do this. Or maybe, you know, sometimes I suggest for my clients, you know, every time you go to the bathroom, after you do whatever you need to do in there, before you walk out of the bathroom, just bring your hands to your heart. I like to close my eyes, so close your eyes. And just inhaling, bringing your awareness here. And the important thing is that then you set your intention. I'm receiving from my soul. I'm connecting with you, soul. Lead me. Give me guidance. And just breathe and let yourself receive for a few moments. And when you feel complete, just bring your awareness to your feet, your ankles, your knees, your hips. And then you're done. That's it. You know, you come back. And the key, the essential part, the essential thing to important to remember about the interrupter rituals is their intention. The intention is not stress relief, is not relaxation, is not escape. You know, the intention is to reconnect with your soul. As I said in chapter one, one of the first videos I shared with you, our soul is always with us. So you know, our soul isn't going anywhere. It's with us all the time. But we forget our awareness shifts from our soul's connection. So it's up to us to come back. It's up to us to intentionally do that. So that's one way. And, um, you know, there's many ways. That's just one you could do. I, you know, I also have like if you know me, you know I love oracle cards. So, you know, beautiful angel oracle cards. They're all positive, uplifting. You could just kind of pull a card multiple times a day. But the key is also, again, to do it with mindfulness. Not just pull it and leave it, but pull it and really let that card speak to you. And just kind of see what is your soul trying to tell you with the message on the card. And one thing I want to also share, when you do these interrupter rituals, you know, you're essentially receiving from your soul. You're letting yourself receive from your soul. But I want you to be clear and understand that your soul will always give you guidance, but it might not give it then. It might not give it in words. It might be a feeling. It might be afterwards through synchronicity. It'll respond, but we have to let go of having 
a fixed idea of how our soul should respond. So I want you to, you know, I say this to my students all the time, just release any need to receive any guidance right when you do this or you do the card. Know that you're receiving it, but you might understand it a little bit later. Okay. Um, so I'm so excited. And, you know, again, when we do the 10-week program, if you're joining me or if you're thinking of joining me, we will be going into a lot more depth and I will be sharing some of the interrupter rituals that I do, which is not only this, but also incorporate meditation, affirmation, movement, all sorts of different things. And I'm so excited. If you want to read more about the 10-week program, please go to my website on the events page. And feel free to email me directly. If you're thinking, I'm, you know, I'm considering it, but I have all these questions, you could email me. Or even when you email me, we could set up a phone conversation, just a few minutes. I know sometimes that's faster um, than emailing. I'm totally open to that. All right, much, much love to you. And let's end as we always end. I know we did this earlier, but let's do it again. Bring your hands to your heart. Bring your awareness there. Remember, your soul is always with you. It is with you now. And let yourself receive. All of us together are setting this intention. We're letting ourselves receive from our soul. Ask your soul, what is the best way for you to connect with it throughout the day? In other words, what interrupter ritual does your soul want you to do? Trust that your soul will guide you. It knows. All right, and we gently open our eyes. We bring our hands to prayer pose, and we're going to bow to each other's beautiful heart and our own heart. And we end with a beautiful blessing of namaste. Namaste, everyone. See you later. Bye.